Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant and in this video we are going to be winning the Ford GT40. So some of this um, clips of this video are live commentary, some are not live commentary because I was recording on different devices at different times and also recording in public too. So I can't really be speaking about top drives when I'm in public places, that would be a bit awkward. So also this clip, this first clip in the beginning, the volume is down because I was listening to music in the background which I'd like to put in the video and have you guys listen to the music with me, but sadly it's copyrighted, so this two-minute clip in the beginning is silent, but then you will be able to hear the amazing Top Drive's engine sounds later on in the video. And so yeah, we are going to be playing through this challenge and getting the Ford GT40. Um, it was very difficult, to say the least. It was a extremely hard challenge for winning an epic prize car, and not like... It's, it's a good epic prize card, but it's not, like, the best epic prize card, to say the least. It is one that will win you some ceramic packs, but that's about it. And so, for the difficulty that this challenge had, it was rather surprising. But I did persevere, I pursued through the challenge, and I did end up beating it. And so, that is going to be this video that you are currently watching now, and that I hope you will enjoy it. So, we are on to round three as of right now going through it, and we did have to use uncommons. Luckily, I did still have a pretty solid uncommon collection from the previous rounds um, from Old Guard to win the tokens, so I was able to luckily not struggle too badly. The only difficult round was round four, but I was able to get past that because they did bump the RQ up by five RQ points, and I did have a clutch stock Honda Prelude locked in my garage so i was able to add that to my garage max it out and you will see after this round i use it to be able to win round four and so then this last race we destroy the alpha Romeo spider by 105 and then this is where the challenge starts to heat up a bit so now here we go recording live for these next rounds and going to see how far i can get and i don't have my hand loaded all right so i'll have to see if i can remember it that 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 or wait yeah and then we have you and you. And then engine upgrades, there we go. And now this should be our win for this round. And it should be completed now. There we go, I heard the little cash sound in the background so I will skip the match because we know it'll all be wins then. There we go, on to round five now, let's see how it is. More rain, that Ocean City Streets, he's gonna be destroyed. Um, ocean parking lot, we'll go for that, and we can go for that there. Arc 7 I can use, and then I'll go for the BMW, I bet. Yeah, this should work out fine, I believe. As long as we win this first race, yeah, and I heard the cash sound as well. And I don't want this video to be, like, surprisingly long since it's 25 rounds, so I'll just skip the match again when I feel confident. Okay. Hmm. That G-Force test is a bit interesting. but we should be able to win all these. Yep, I heard the cash sound again. All right, that's good. So we could just skip the match then again. 250 to zero. So right once I lose a round, then I will lose my cash sound to listen to, which will be very sad because then I will not know and won't be able to skip the rounds anymore. So let's just scout it out first. Okay, all asphalt, three drags, a slalom, and a twisty road. So I believe I can go for you, then you, you, 37, that leaves me with you. Quarter, one mile, that, that, and that. Should work, yep, heard the cash, so it's all we need to hear to win. There we go, skip match, 2000 cash, we've got mixed now. Test bowl and twisty circuit dirt. All right, so we've got two test bowls. Quarter mile drag, which I can use you for. You can go on twisty, then I just need my off-roader and something with good top speed. So hopefully I can find that something with good top speed. And then you. So 40 RQ, we'll just sort by top speed descending, which is you. Actually, could I get away with using you? Because you actually have good MRA. You can go there, you can go there. Ooh, but he's got better top speed though. That's the only issue. So maybe I will go for the Mercedes actually, since the Mercedes does have better 
there and there 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 and there should work yep heard the cash all right that's good so win that race and we'll just skip it again round nine now oh and we've lost a lot of our rq that's too bad hopefully there could be some rain wouldn't mind some rain no twisty road into slalom test and gravel and a drag on gravel Hmm. okay 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 not really sure how i'm supposed to beat that drag but i can use you and you for the one and the other you can go on the drag hopefully then i'll grab you two for now kind of forgot with it yeah i can win those two easily slalom test twisty road all really comes down to that drag i did not hear a cash sound so i believe that means we lost then i might need to look for a solution to this one because i i'm out of ideas i've got nothing i do not have a guess on how i'm supposed to beat this round okay we win the twisty road against the bmw oh what okay well that's crap Our, our Mercedes does win though. Our Mercedes beats the Lotus. All right. So what I could do is flip flop those. Do that. Did not hear the cash, but I don't think the cash sound, the cash sound's gone now because I lost I lost the race. So hopefully this will work. If not, I might be stuck. Oh yeah, nice, because off-road tires just don't beat standard tires all of a sudden, and we lose to the DS as well. Hmm, okay then, okay, well what if we did that? What if we did that? That could work, right? I mean, it seems like it should work. If, if the off-roader can't win, then surely the Miata should be able to win on the off-road track set, because that would make a lot of sense. So let's see. Hopefully our Miata can pull it off, but it's okay though, the Hummer can do it, it's just not the, the rally car, the rally car can't win the twisty thing. Go Miata, go! Okay, it does, the Miata somehow wins though. The Miata beats the off-roader on the off-road track set, because that makes a ton of sense. Oh jeez, what is this? I'm gonna have to use rares? Um, well, this doesn't seem very easy. I only have 180 RQ as well. It's not like I have very good dragsters. Oh, jeez, I, I don't like this. This is not very fun. It's not very cool. Okay, medium, small, and hopefully that can win the city street small. That, I guess, I gotta expect to win that, and that, and that. Okay, hopefully this works. Please beat the M5. <laughs> I lost a braking race. Okay, at least we barely beat the Lotus, though, at the Taurus show. Bora wins, that's good. Looks like you're basically required to have a Maserati Bora. Our Elan wins there. And the juke wins, alright. But what am I gonna use to beat that BMW? Maybe the Corvette and just hope it kept its MRA? Because the only thing that's beating this is the Maserati Bora. There's nothing else. So I'll just have to go for this and hopefully this can beat the M5. I mean, it's accelerating faster. Okay, good. The Corvette C4 gets the job done. All right. Otherwise, I would have been screwed there then and been stuck there for a while. Okay, I can win that slalom. Or the G-Force, I mean. I can win the G-Force. I can win the test bowl. What are we supposed to use for that quarter mile drag? Is there anything even that fast? Filter all cars. 5.5, I mean. I've got the fastest. 4.8. I, I guess they are hinting that this 
wind. So I guess we'll go for this. All right, then we grab our Twizzy for the one, the G-Force test. Then we have our Bora, I forgot, and something else. Okay, Slalom, we should be able to win that, should be able to win that, win, win. I just need something for City Streets Small, which is no big deal. I can grab the Juke. There, 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 and there. Hopefully that Abarth can win that, because I don't know what else they're thinking, because I don't have the Torino. So I could be screwed then if I don't, for not having the Torino. Hopefully this can also win the Slalom. It doesn't. All right, cool. Well, I could try the donkey on the quarter mile drag. If not, we might have another predicament. Hopefully that wins. Okay, good. At least the Twizzy wins. Or I could try the Twizzy on Slalom. It wins by 0 0.1. Yeah, that's what I got to use. So I got to use that there. So then we're going to switch it up with that and that. Now, hopefully that'll work. Because if not, then we might be stuck. And that'll be a joyous thing to happen. Come on, Twizzy, please. Okay, so the Twizzy does. I know the donkey wins the G-Force. There we go. That's that round done. On to round 12. We're nearly halfway done. Then I am not enjoying one minute of this. So, Hairpin Road, 323 always wins. Twisty Road, that'll win. Test Bowl, that'll win. That'll win there. Then we just need another medium car which is the Taurus, or we could go with the Suzuki. Use that in the medium, use that in the small. Twisty Road, Test Bowl, Hairpin Road. This should all work, I believe. Yep, we win the Twisty Road, that's good. It's one race down. Then Maserati Bora wins the Test Bowl, that's two races down. Then the 323 spec should beat the 332 spec. Which it does, good. That's three races down. Race number four, I believe this should win. Otherwise, why is mine one RQ higher? Okay, good. It does win. Otherwise, I'd be very disappointed in this game. And this race is a win because the Juke Nismo just solos everything. The Juke Nismo is an insane car. Just absolutely destroys, dunks on, obliterates everything. Now we're into Super Rares. I'm not too nervous about Super Rares. Hopefully, it's good that I'm not too nervous about Super Rares. Hopefully I shouldn't need to be too nervous about Super Rares. Okay, good, good. Can use my cater hands. That's that's a great sign already. Okay, this should work for the first round, I believe. Unless this BMW kept its MRA. 650i. Okay, come on, Shamal. Okay, good. There we go, 0 0.01. It's got to be that stressful. Then we beat the RX-8 with the Lotus Elise. It's good. Camaro wins the g-force yep that's good with my goofy tune hopefully the goofy tune will come to bite me in the back or in the butt or whatever the phrase goes caterham wins and then other caterham wins that's good there we go that is the first round of the super rares done and we're chilling so far airplane slalom dirt i should have a solution to it hopefully my solution will actually win All right, so for my solution, it is this guy. He's big. Oh, no, that's actually this guy is my solution. Then I can run 49 RQ, so I can run you for the other thing. The, mm, do I want to use them on the G-Force test, though? No, I want to use them on airplane hangers. And then that and that. This should all work out fine, I believe. Yep, the Goofy Tune wins by 0 0.01. All right. Then the Elise beats the Elan. All these 0.01s are way too close. Like, that's got to be intentional. That just all these are that close where you need such a specific car. Solemn test, we win. That's good. And then right here, we win. W Ford Escort Rally Spec. Taken wins. That's round 14 done. Round 15 now. We're still mixed, which is good. Back road mixed. All right. That'll be interesting. I can win that long drag, I know that. And then I just gotta grab my cater hams again, I believe. So we'll ditch you, grab, um, 
you, you, and you, right? I feel like this could work. Don't really know what Service Roads is because we've never gotten these track sets really very often. Don't know if that's a drag, if I want something fast. Okay, hopefully my escort can get in front considering that it's wet outside. Okay, it can buy quite a bit too. So hopefully we can just win that service roads or whatever that track set is because I honestly have no clue what service roads looks like. Okay, ocean parking lot's an easy win. Caterham will totally win that. Then, Super Impreza should be able to beat the Stagia on the airplane hangers, which it does. Okay, that's good. Now it all comes down to, is service roads fast? Is it twisty? Is it something where my Caterham can run away? It is something where my Caterham can run away. There we go. That is that race done now. Round 16, we're moving up. And they do something like that. And that, whoa, oh, okay, wait, I have a car that can win that. Okay, you can go there. I'm gonna have to drop you, you, and you. Grab, who's got a better top speed? You've got a better top speed. Then I'll grab you and you for now. Karting circuit, that's gonna be... Huh. Well, I want you for something and you for something. I believe that should win. That should win, that wins, that wins, and that wins. All of these should theoretically win, I believe. Okay, good, first race is a win, which it should have been, it should have been a win. This race also should be a win, which it is, all right, good, as it should be. This race should be a win. We are faster by 0.6 seconds. Please run away, Infinity. It's probably because I th had to 3-3-2 three, three, it. Yes, and it still does it. Let's go. The 3-3-2 three, three, Q60 Sport gets the job done. That's an easy win. That we were supposed to win. And this last race is totally a win. There we go. That's that round done as well. Can we just move on? To, I don't really want to move on to Ultra Rares, though. Okay, this is just the five times old guard round, which is a rather whack choice. But we can roll with it. We can roll with it. All right. Indoor karting, we'll use you. Zero to 100, we'll use you. Ooh, that's going to be interesting. He's got like 9 billion MRA. So we'll drop you guys. I know I'm using you. I'm going to use the Bora wherever he is right there. Drop the engine upgrades in for the one mile drag. Then we can use you. All right. Then we've got high RQ. I don't remember what the other races were, <laughs> so we'll grab that for now. All right, yeah, that could work, because fast circuit, we can win that. Ooh, that's a win, that's a win, and that should be a win as well. All of these should be wins, I believe, as long as 90 MRA God doesn't get us. Okay, it doesn't. Then this should also be a win pretty easily. The Bentley doesn't have any MRA and no handling, so the Lotus Elise does win. That's good. It's another race down. C8 Laviolet should win this. It's got 90 MRA, which it does. 65 points. At least 1.6. Beats the RX-8. There we go. Good. That's what we like to see. And this should win the one mile drag. Yep, which it does. W Maserati Bora. Best dragster in the game. Round 18 now, and it's time for ultra super rare still. All right, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. As long as my wacky tunes can help me. Okay, rain, perfect. Rain. Ooh, but a suspicious rain. Alright, then we've got a drag Monaco Streets, so we can keep you. Two drags and two wets. Alright, so. Two drags. Two wets. There and there. This should work. Technically. Okay, that one. That would have been very sad if that lost. 
This should work. This I can just upgrade if it's as if it's no MRA. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, but the upgrade should be fine though. I can. Eh. Actually, I don't know if those upgrades will be fine enough. But I could just go for the Bentley then. This is what we need to win. And it doesn't. Okay. Well, I've got that other infinity, which I could use. That could work. Okay, at least we do beat the Pontiac. I was a little nervous about that as well. All right, so strategy two, grab you, max you out, 4390, could potentially work. Then um, grab you, oh yeah, why, why wasn't I using that in the first place? Okay, this is the updated hand. If this doesn't work, we might have another predicament. I might actually need to go to KT Play then and check this out. Because we win the half mile, so that's fine. I didn't realize I could just use my E500. Hopefully 4390 can win the Monaco hairpin. We've got two better handling. I believe we have better MRA. We are slightly slower to 60, but that's fine. Oh yes, the 0 0.01 clutch up again. 250 to 0. On to round 19, 17 rounds to go, and now we are, what, into the ultra-rare territory we are. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. All depends. Is it mixed? We've got one mixed. Two mixed. So we've got two mixed coming up. That's it. <laughs> then we might be screwed. Ooh, but we got some rain, though. That's what we like to see. Oh, but that Tokyo Loop, I do not like the look of... Oh, I do not like the look of that at all. Because I'm going to need to run that then. Alright, well, I'll have to think about that later. And now, here we go. We are now done with live recording because every single round now, I needed to stop the recording and then play it again at a different time or upgrade stuff or max out a bunch of stuff. So the rest of this video will be from the future tense of me already knowing that I have won the 4 GT. So round 20, this was a difficult one. This is where I actually needed to 233 the spiker. Now that kind of sucked, but luckily 233 actually came in clutch then later in the legendary challenges. That's just a bit of a hint hint for later on some upcoming videos. But um, yeah, that spiker actually did clutch up with it being tuned 233 later on. So you'll see that later and tomorrow in the next day's video. But that Spiker at 233 won the Tokyo Loop, first of all, and it will win some pretty key stuff later on. I would and I do recommend 332 in that Spiker. Now, I don't know what happened around 21. Um, I must have lost the recording or just forgot to record it. But I do recommend 332 in that Spiker. That Spiker is definitely a 332 car. It has 89 handling, which is nowhere near good. I mean, maybe 233 a second one if you feel inclined to, because it is not bad at fast circuit, and the 89 handling will be better than 86, but definitely your first one, 100% to it. When I get a second one, I am 100% locking it and maxing it 332. It's just the sacrifice had to be make, made. Also, the 911 Turbo from the 500k pack opening, if you haven't watched that video yet, go check it out. It was a pretty fun video. Um, it was the last uploaded video, but that 911 definitely clutched up and helped me be able to win this 4 GT. If I didn't have that 911, I would have not been able to win it. And then also the Spiker wins here with the 181 top speed on the test pole being reached. Round 23 now. I did have preset hands. The preset hands did not work as well as I wanted them to. There's also that Ford Escort Rally spec, which I had to upgrade quite a bit, but that was also a planned upgrade for the Legendary Challenges too. Like, a lot of this was planned. I had, if you're in my Discord server, you've already probably seen this, but if not, join it, link in the description. I had a full page of notes that I took for this challenge because I was doing all the calculations to figure out what cars to upgrade to have the least amount of fuse being spent where I didn't have to just drop fuse and everything. Because I could have dropped fuse in like my CTSV Sport Wagon, um, a Subaru Legacy. I did have to drop fuse in an Evo 4, but... I just calculated how much fuse I can use in the least possible manner, which resulted in me then having the two star a banana, but that's fine because you'll see in the next two days why that was fine. Now this round wasn't, this round was also problematic too. Luckily I was able to figure out a solution. Really the only problematic thing was that last round, that last race, that solemn test, 
My Valentino Balboni lost, and my Roof lost at 123, even though it has better handling and it was a lighter weight, and better MRA if you want to count that fact in as well to a slalom test, which really you shouldn't. MRA doesn't matter too much. But, and I also tried to go for bonus points as well, but I eventually just had to um, 223 the Roof SCR. That's fine. I'm going to max it out right once I get three Fuse Ultra Rares because it's an incredible car. And it did beat the Lotus Evora Sport 410 then. See, I was showing it's 100 kgs lighter, but it still lost. Luckily, though, 223 worked, and I didn't have to wait till like 8 o'clock at night to 2, um, no, to 133 it. And this last round was pretty simple because of the help of KT Play. I was able to see that the Subaru BRZ wins that karting circuit. Slalom is where I will use the Caterham, and GeForce will use the Super Air Caterham. This round was definitely much simpler as long as you had the right standard tire stuff. Luckily, I just got lucky and had the right stuff for the right job. Now, I could have maxed out those legacies I had previously, and those probably could have worked too, but it just all worked out in the end perfectly, and so then I was able to win the Ford GT40, which we will see eventually. I was just watching through the rounds just to make sure no surprise losses did occur. Let's just watch this amazing roof. It's 100 and something MRA, I think like 105. Yeah, it just shoots away from the SLR McLaren. It's an incredible car. Caterham as well is an incredible car. It definitely, it just destroys that Lamborghini, which has four-wheel drive. It's just the Lamborghini is a boat in the Caterham has standard tires, and so it's just amazing. Valentino Balboni, and boom! Four GT40 race car has been claimed. Um, I didn't record anything else. I stopped the screen recording right there. But yeah, very happy about that. I've been wanting a Ford GT for a while now, especially one of the Ford GT40 race cars. Definitely happy with that because I am a major fan of that car. The Ford GT was one of my dream cars, one of my original dream cars, like from when I was little. Littler, I'm still little. Well, not really. But when I was little, very young, like when I was in elementary school is what I mean. And so, yeah. That was like one of my original dream cars then. So to be able to get a GT40 race car, especially a car with that type of heritage, is pretty cool. I definitely wanted to get it, which is why I ended up putting all those upgrades into everything. But that is going to be it for this video. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. Join the Discord server, link in the description. Two more videos are coming out on this challenge tomorrow and the day after that. So definitely subscribe. I am Yellowfin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.